properties are often used for the gases and this is uh, uh, this is a correction uh, correction factor uh, residual property is a correction right because we know that that uh, residual property is what it is if you know the properties of the real solution then we uh, subtract the properties of the ideal solution and then you will get the uh, uh, residual properties so uh, some properties uh, such as enthalpy uh, enthalpy is not uh, be dependent on pressure but some like volume dependent on pressure but we have to calculate at the same temperature and pressure to calculate residual properties so uh, in terms of uh, volume we can write residual volume v subscript r is equals to v minus v i g right and see for for an ideal solution for an ideal solution residual property will be equal to zero for and for uh, non ideal solution residual property will not be equal to zero there must be a some value so this is for non ideal solution so in a similar way you can write uh, uh, residual properties for um, other thermodynamic properties uh, let's take uh, residual enthalpy it can be written as h minus h i g uh, you can write gives free energy residual gives free energy g minus g i g similarly you can write u r which is and uh, internal energy residual internal energy u minus u i g and its residual entropy s minus s i g now let's related h r is related to u r okay so we know that that h u is equals to u plus pv right uh, this is what it's a total property total enthalpy hmm? similarly you can write for ideal gas so h i g is equals to u i g plus p v i g right so this is the enthalpy for the ideal gas similarly you can write for the residual property so h r is equals to h oh, sorry u r plus p v r right so this is what it's a this one is your residual property right and this is what it's a it is a correction now other example uh, let's take g is equals to h minus p s so here we relate gives free energy with enthalpy or you can say with entropy so this will be equal to g r is equals to h r minus t s r so if you know these two then you can automatically calculate the residual entropy so this is the definition of a residual property and how residual properties are related to uh, other thermodynamic properties now what would be uh, the various thermodynamic properties at the limit of a zero pressure uh, zero pressure is an important limit because as we know that uh, the most of the gases tends to become uh, ideal gases as they approaches to zero we know that that jaise hi kisi bhi gas ka pressure zero it, it is it tends to zero it behaves like a an ideal gas right so agar aap pressure ki limit because we know that that it is totally depending upon temperature and pressure to agar pressure ki limit zero ho jati hai to jitne bhi thermodynamic properties hai jo humne likhe hue hai earlier 
वो कैसे उन पर क्या इफेक्ट होगा टू पुट दिस लिमिट दैट प्रेशर टेंड्स टू जीरो सो लेट्स सी वॉट हैपन्स टू ईच थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रॉपर्टी एट दिस लिमिट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक सो बाई डेफिनेशन वी नो दैट लिमिट P tends to zero, so internal residual internal energy limit P tends to zero, so U minus limit P tends to zero U I G, right? So as we approach uh, uh, approach the zero limit, zero pressure limit. Uh, then the volume tends uh, tends to infinity. So as we, आप जैसे ही zero limit put करोगे, तो volume कहाँ जाएगा? Infinity हो जाएगा, right? And uh, as the volume goes to infinity, uh, uh, then the molecules pulled apart so fast, uh, so far uh, that there there is a decrease in intermolecular forces um, between the molecules of gases. and when they are pulled apart eventually the volume is become very large it happens uh, if it is if it happens in this case uh, then the internal energy which is a result uh, which is a result of at molecular level it is a result of uh, kinetic energy potential energy and other forms of energy they exactly behaves uh, like an ideal uh, gas because intermolecular forces are become zero so residual internal energy is become zero right because u is behaves like a an ideal gas right and here the temperature is same okay so residual in internal energy will be equal to zero now let's talk about the um, residual volume so limit same limit p tends to zero v r is equals to limit p tends to zero v minus limit p tends to zero v i g right so here in terms of uh, compressibility factor you can write this limit राइट right, ये क्या हो जाएगा जेड आर टी अपॉन पी इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर एंड हियर दिस इज फॉर आइडियल गैस लिमिट पी टेंस टू जीरो दिस इज व्हाट आर टी अपॉन पी ओके एंड दिस इज बिकम लिमिट पी टेंस टू जीरो लेट्स टेक आर टी अपॉन पी इज कॉमन देन वी हैव जेड माइनस वन and this is the residual limit p tends to zero this is your residual volume so if now see if p tends to zero right then z kya ho jayega compressible if p tends to zero then z tends to one right then now you can see here then one yahan par bhi one ho gaya to ye kya ho gaya do aapka numerator जीरो हो गया एंड डिनोमिनेटर में भी जीरो है राइट देन न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बोथ टेंस टू जीरो सो दैट दिस लिमिट इज इनडिटर्मिनेंट इन दिस केस राइट सो आप क्या करोगे यहां पर इसका पार्श डिटर्मिनेंट बनाने के लिए करने के लिए आप क्या करोगे आप इसको डिफ्रेंशिएट कर दोगे सो वेन यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस तो लिमिट पी टेंस टू जीरो वी आर इज इक्व टू आर टी डाबा जेड अपॉन डाबा पी वेयर टेम्परेचर इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो डिटर्म दिस इज योर डिटर्मिनेंट वेन वी टेक डिफरेंशियल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रेशर एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर सो दिस इज अ दिस इज अ फाइनाइट value finite finite value you can get the finite value but does not equal to zero now let's talk about what happens to what happens to hr so hr the residual 
enthalpy is equals to U R plus P V R. Now put the same limit. So limit P tends to zero. H R is equals to here limit P tends to zero. U R plus limit P tends to zero. P V R. Right now, V R is finite here. So, P V R क्या हो जाएगा? Is equals to zero because हम क्या limit put कर रहे? P की limit क्या put कर रहे? आप zero कर रहे हो? And internal energy क्या होगा? We already know that this is all to equal uh, this is equal to zero. So limit limit P tends to zero. Residual enthalpy is equal to zero. So now what happens to uh, residual gives free energy? So residual gives free energy can be written as G subscript uh, R is equals to H R minus T S R. Right. So let's differentiate this partial differentiation of Daba G R upon R T Daba T at constant pressure it is equals to negative H upon R upon R T square. So uh we kya dika bhi ki that uh, H uh, residual enthalpy is zero. So uh, so this G R ये जीरो है तो जीआरबी क्या हो जाएगा? This is also zero at the limit of zero pressure. So हमारी limit क्या है? Limit P tends to zero, right? So Gr daba Gr upon RT upon daba T at constant pressure. And this is this HR at uh, HR at limit at P tends to zero is equals to zero. So this is also equal to zero. So limit P tends to zero G R upon R T. क्या हो जाएगा? That will be equal to constant, right? And this constant is independent of temperature because the derivative with respect to temperature goes to zero. So so today what we have uh, done. When the limit tends to the when the limit of pressure tends to zero, then limit. आज हमने क्या देखा? Limit P tends to zero. Then residual property enthalpy, residual enthalpy, and limit P tends to zero. Residual internal energy will be equal to zero, and limit P tends to zero. The residual volume will be equal to R T daba Z upon daba P at constant temperature and gives free residual gives free energy. Uh, the derivative of give, uh, gives free energy will be equal to zero and G R upon R T if the pressure limit tends to zero is equal to the constant and this. This is independent of temperature because the derivative with respect to temperature goes to कहाँ जा रहा है? Goes to zero.